Hello guys and welcome back to Godly Motivation. Today we're going to talk about what you should do in times of uncertainty. We all have times in our lives when we are fearful, when we are unsure of what the future holds, and when we feel filled with doubt so much that we don't know what to do. Here's what you shouldn't do. Don't hit the panic button. Do you feel like you're going through a time of testing in your life? Are you struggling with a situation that you're tempted to simply avoid, ignore, or run away from because it's just too hard to face? Jesus tells us in John 16 and verse 33 that in this world we will have tribulation and trials, but he follows it up with some good news. He says, be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. The truth is that we all go through hard times and we can either trust God to help us deal with them or choose to give up. But if we give up, we won't move forward in life and experience the best that God has for us. Sometimes God allows us to go through difficulties in this life because it's during those times that we grow in our faith and develop more of the character of Christ. Trials reveal what we really believe and what's really inside our hearts. They test us and we all know they can test us really well. And until we have to deal with a specific situation, we really don't know what we would do. James 1 verse 2 says we should consider it wholly joyful when we experience a trial or face a temptation. Verse 3 goes on to say that the trial and proving of your faith bring out endurance and steadfastness and patience. I remember the days when I would get upset and complain whenever things didn't go my way. I had no peace and was emotionally unstable. When I was tested by trials, they brought out jealousy, confusion, anger and negative attitudes that were in my heart. But throughout the years, I have studied the word and learned how to trust God. I have developed more of the qualities and character of Christ in my life. I am still a work in progress, but so are all of us. I am a bit more patient now, even in the difficult times. But it was through these trials that I was able to get to this point. We can face our trials and tests with joy when we understand that it's going through them that we learn how to live through God's peace, joy, and wisdom, whatever the circumstance may be. I want to share a few tips that can help us to get through our tests. The first one, we have to seek God's strength during times of temptation. During hard times, we can be tempted to revert back to old behavior, old habits, or even addiction. But 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13 says, During temptation, God will always provide the way out, that you may be capable, strong, and powerful to bear up under it patiently. When temptation comes, run to God. Don't walk. Run to God. Ask him to strengthen you in that area and help you to keep moving forward. The second tip I want to share with you is to focus on the positive and thank God for his goodness. When times get tough, it is easy to complain. It is easy to be angry with God or even the people around us. It's also easy to resent people who don't have similar problems. However, these things will only keep us stuck where we are and affect our lives in a destructive way. The antidote? Choose to praise God for the blessings in your life. Place your focus on Him and thank Him for His love and faithfulness. And as you do, you will magnify the good and push out the bad. The third tip I want to leave with you is to trust God when you don't have the answers. At one time or the other, all of us have probably thought, why is this happening to me? But instead of wondering why and feeling sorry for ourselves, we need to say, don't panic. 
this is only a test because here's the truth this too will pass and we will get through it with more peace and stability if we trust God to do what is best for us at the right time and in his way I know this is difficult when we have our deadlines and we make our plans and things just don't seem to fall in place whenever we want them to the next tip I want to leave with you is to wait on God's timing this is a very difficult one and I know we're gonna have a lot of persons listening to this who struggle with waiting if you are anything like me you have been tempted to make something happen on your own have you ever thought I'm not going to put up with this anymore I'm going to do something about this but when we take matters into our own hands we often delay or miss the blessing that God wants to give us instead we need to be determined to trust God and wait on him to work things out I don't know about you but I have been in many situations before where if it wasn't for God closing a door that I desperately wanted to open I would have been in some deep crap that I did not plan for and I can only look back and say thank God for not allowing my way to work out the way I wanted God loves you so much and he has a great plan for your life the next time you're being tested I encourage you to say God I trust you it doesn't feel good but I know you will work it out for my good every test you go through will get you a little closer to God and on the other side of it you will thank him for using it to make you more like Christ many times people stay where they are in life simply because of fear but do you know that fear isn't real it's only a thought in your mind one of the most important things you can do in your life is to learn to pull back the curtains of fear so you can see it for what it really is the enemy blowing a lot of smoke and pushing your buttons but look inside friends think about all the things you've always wanted to do but haven't because of fear whenever you're tempted to doubt your ability to start something new and accomplish something recognize that feeling as a symptom of fear it is not real pull back that curtain of fear and believe that God is working in you and wants to do great things through you we just have to wait on his timing because his ways are not our ways and sometimes if we push ahead and do what we think is the best thing without putting God first we only end up in deeper problems you have seeds of greatness in you and I believe our lives as Christians should be the most exciting because we have the favor and blessings of God on our side so go ahead start exploring those seeds of greatness inside you and dream big God put those desires in your heart and nothing is impossible for him so in times of uncertainty take that step of faith and as you do be confident in this God is with you every step of the way however big or small and will help you accomplish everything in his great name I just want to say a short prayer with you please just follow along while I pray Lord I thank you for always being here with me I thank you that in times of uncertainty you always show up even when it is not on my timing I trust you father God to always make a way when there seems to be no way and I ask you to help me to keep trusting you even when the devil tries to push my buttons continue to bless me and bless my family and help me to see the rewards of my patience and my faith in you in Jesus name Amen thank you so much for tuning in to godly motivation I hope you enjoyed this video I want to thank you for watching and if you haven't subscribed already please do so and go ahead and click that like button to help this video to get a bigger reach on YouTube thanks again for tuning in to godly motivation and have yourself a wonderful day